This is Diana of Be For STEM, and I'm standing here today in Suwannee, Georgia, with my friend Charles Bonds, who has a cabinet shop, and he is an entrepreneur at this stage in his life. He's had many other jobs, which I want him to tell you about, in building construction trades, and so we're gonna see a little bit about how that has brought him here and what he does in his daily life now. So Charles, tell us a little bit about your background. Thank you. Uh, I went to college and, and graduated with a construction degree, which set me up to be a project manager. I um, spent most of my career managing projects uh, through development and construction, overseeing a lot of different trades, bringing together larger buildings. Uh, a few years back, I decided it was time for me to purchase my own business within the trades, uh, selected architectural millwork, cabinets, and uh, for the last year and a half, we've been taking a shop that uh, was using tools in a more traditional manner, a regular saw and drill, and starting to integrate more digital manufacturing into the process. Wonderful. Well, will you show us a little bit about how the tools you use okay. in this business work? So the other trick to making the router work is the actual table itself. Um, we have a couple of vacuums underneath that will pull air through this kind of porous material so that the parts that we're cutting stay stuck to the table itself and we can cut all the way around it. So without that, the router would just be pushing parts all around the table. That's most of the noise that you'll hear. The other the other part that goes along with it is the dust collector, so all of the sawdust goes up through this hose and back out, otherwise we just have a terrible mess. Okay? It's all driven by this computer, okay? and from here we can pull up the different routines that have been programmed into the machine, um, and there are several different programs that we use, one specific to making cabinets. Uh, one is specific to making any shape you want, just out of a flat piece. Uh, there are a couple other programs that can do things like um, sculpt shapes. Okay? Uh, that's really the place to focus when somebody's thinking about a STEM career. Okay? You, can, you can learn how to run one of these in a shop. You can learn how to use all the other tools in the shop. But it's really that thought in the front office on how to make the parts that really separates your skills from other people. And we're going to meet that person a little later. Oh, great. Okay. Okay. Uh, Let's go. Uh, not everything comes off of the router, though. We do have a regular chop saw for cutting things that are, that are long in length. We have a table saw for cutting rectangles, cheap goods. Uh, a lot of things come off of uh, just a traditional table saw. Both of those, of course, with the as As we cut all of these parts, they'll have an unfinished end on it, right? And that's not what we're going to provide at the end of, end of the project. We actually want to put a little band on that, a little, little band of material that looks like the surface. We do that over here. Okay? And all of these parts have to get run through the edge bander. Where that same material will get glued back on. Okay. So Sandra is applying it, Alex is trimming it, and at the end of the day, we're going to end up with a box that has that edge banding already on it. So when we put the doors on it, between the doors, you're going to see that same material. Uh, we have some other specialty tools. This guy's nicknamed the Time Saver. He is a belt-driven sander, so all of the parts can go in one end, 
sand its way through. Wow. And this control, a lot of parts here. On the front end, you actually program how thick you want your finished part to be. Okay, so sometimes you have to send the parts through a few times to make it uh, as, as thin as you're looking for. Okay. Got a number of uh, assembly areas in here for different parts and pieces, but here we go. Here's a, a section of cabinet making its way towards a break room. Okay. In it, we've got a trash can to pull out. We'll have uh, a sink on one side, doors and shelving on another side. Okay. And now we're starting to look at countertops that go on top of it. This is a, a, an acrylic material. It's a solid surface. The, the material's the same all the way through. We're getting it to the point where we're about ready to start cutting an opening for sink and faucets and, and all the parts that go on the countertop. The thing goes to the cabinet. Okay? When these go out to the site, we're actually, they're actually going to sit on a four inch tall box so they get up to the right height. And then you have that space underneath the cabinets where your feet, your toes go as you're standing over the cabinet. So within the paint boot, we have a couple of different paint and stain spraying systems. Some are just for paint, some are just for primer, and some are for putting on a, a stain color right, for different parts. That's gorgeous. Very okay. smooth and beautiful. And this is something your router did. Uh, yeah, we, so we put this groove on here so we can put a little a little cleat on the sidewall, slide this on, and then it's going to look like a floating shelf. Wow, beautiful. Well, so we've seen all the equipment in your shop now, and it looks like you can build pretty much anything you want to in here, from simple pieces to very complex pieces. And tell us a little bit about the people who work for you in your career now as an entrepreneur. Well. Uh, Everybody that works here has an interest in working with their hands and creating something, right? This is not a paperwork job. This is not a uh, behind the computer all day job. It's something very tangible that you go out and are assembling parts of, of cabinets and other creations that are going to go into somebody's home or their office space. And it's going to be a permanent uh, fixture in where they work. Could be furniture, could be shelving, cabinets that we've talked about, all sorts of different uh, installations. So it's somebody who's creative, okay? They, they might be doing the same type of tasks over and over again, but each, each project's gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna involve a little bit of thought, um, and they've gotta have a great uh, eye for detail, right? We don't wanna put out a product that is uh, looks like junk, right? to be well built, it needs to be uh, very high in detail. So it's somebody who cares about the product that they're making. Pride of ownership. Okay. That's right. Work. Very much so. Very right. much so. Wow. Okay. Nice. Okay, and then what's everything? We'll take you, yeah, we'll take you into the office. So this is um, the key element here. Without good planning as an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. it's very difficult to be successful. <laughs> So, in addition to all of the office functions in here about paying bills and ordering materials, both of these workstations are set up where we can draw up projects on the computer, have the computer then uh, do all of the math, do all of the calculations it takes to not only program the router, but also tell us how much material we need, how long it should take to build it, what tools we're going to need, uh, in, in addition to how much it, it should cost. Oh. <laughs> so that's what uh, these two workstations do for us. Right. Yeah, they've got, well, this one that I'm sort of working on, a customer wants a couple of additions to a project that we haven't built. Even though we don't know all the dimensions, we can put the cabinets in there, uh, to kind of maneuver them around, kind of take a look at. So if we've given the customer what they want, I think that's something you could see. And then we do the, there's some pricing there and things like that to go on. You know, the number of cabinets and how we're going to make them. And, and this can be printed and brought out to the shop and they'll follow this, this drawing and some other drawings that show the dimensions. 
so that they can put them together exactly how it's planned. Wonderful. You know, you love it when they all go as planned, but these guys have to figure out, you know, the little, the little uh, you know, inconsistencies with, oh, something's not quite right, you got to beat it up a little bit with a hammer or whatever, you know, they, they build. So mm -hmm. that's what they do, and they do it really well. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much. Okay. So we have just a, a couple more questions to ask, and we'll be back in a minute.